It happened this past week, the loss of three creative people in very different fields. Actor Norman Lloyd died Tuesday in Los Angeles. He first won notice with the Mercury Theater under Orson Welles in the 1930s. In 1942, he played a Nazi spy in the Hitchcock thriller Saboteur, memorably dangling from the Statue of Liberty's torch. He went on to many other roles. I know what you're saying, Dr. Armstrong. I'm questioning how you would say it. From the 1980s hospital series, St. Elsewhere, to the 2015 film, Trainwreck, opposite Amy Schumer. I was the first person on my block to own a television set. Long known as the oldest working actor in Hollywood, Norman Lloyd was an astonishing 106 years of age. Architect Helmut Jahn died a week ago Saturday in a bicycle accident outside Chicago. He designed many of that city's most notable buildings and some of its most controversial. His state of Illinois center provoked a sharp debate when it opened in 1985. You really like it? I surely do. You really don't like it? I huh? really don't. <laughs> he designed buildings in other cities too, including New York, and Philadelphia. Helmut Jahn was 81. And Spencer Silver died a week ago Saturday at his home in Minnesota. A longtime chemist at 3M, he discovered a unique adhesive used in what was originally called the Press and Peel Memo Pad. Not that successful at first, it was renamed the Post-it Note in 1980 and the new name stuck. Spencer Silver was 80. <laughs>